Hey everybody, I'm Schmirka Daber, and welcome back to Throwback Thursday and The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. We are here in the first dungeon in the Dark World. Um, these turtles here can't, they cannot, whoa, 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 turtles. Um, they cannot be defeated until I get the special item from this dungeon. Um, we're gonna go down here first, I think. This is a nice little secret, I love this. Uh, the verticality of the dungeons in this game was was pretty special. It was a very cool thing, um, an impressive thing, the, the design of these dungeons, and I love being able to do that. Look at this. We've already got a key for this as well. Let's do it. Let us do it. What do we have here? We've got the big... Holy crap, we got the big key already? This dungeon's going so well. Uh, I can't believe this, frankly. Like, I am, I am not... Oh, boy. Oh boy, another key. Look at us go, everybody. Get out of there, Link. Oh, no. No. Okay, all right. Fuck off, turtles. Okay, good, I got a heart. <laughs> Let's go back through here. And we are now back, uh, looks like at the beginning section where we, okay. All right, this is good. Can we push this? We can. All right, back into the center of the dungeon. And, uh, I guess we'll go this way next. Yeah, like, this dungeon is kind of coming back to me as we go. Another key. Holy crap, dude. This is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm starting to... Oh, and we need it. Perfect. Uh, I'm starting to remember this dungeon. I'm starting to remember it pretty well, and that's nice. Okay, we can't run across that, obviously, once it started falling. Here we go, here we go. Run, Link, run! Go, go, go! Whoa, I pushed him through that skull. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. All right, let's go this way. If you can open a door with a key, you should probably do it. All right. In here are little Triceratop guys that shoot fire. And I'm not sure if these are Dodongos or not. I don't know if this is what, like, the Dodongos have translate to in this game. I, I feel like it. I, f I mean, they, they, they are, are reminiscent of Dodongos, but they might not be. I'm not, not really sure. Um, let me know in the comments if you know what those monsters are called. I would love to hear it. What do we have in this one? Another key. Holy shit. We're just piling it on today. Um, and here, of course, we ran past this in the other room. So we're gonna drop a bomb here, blow open the door, and we've already got our big chest for this dungeon. I can't believe it, man! Ah! All right, the magic hammer. You can drive the wooden stakes down into the ground. You can use it to pound on other things, too. I'll just let that one, um, let that one live on its own. If you wanna use your magic hammer to pound something, then, um, then pound away, dear viewers, pound away. All right. Once we get back out of this little maze here, very nice. And now onwards, we to the next section. We can't go um, back down that way. We have to go this way. And there, oh, there are turtles and I can fight them now. Fabulous, kaplow. So you use the hammer and you don't even have to hit them with it to flip them over. And once they're flipped, uh, you can whap them. So these whaps are, uh, are going quite well. Good whaps there. Uh, we've got the compass. Let's go down stairs here. If I recall, this is like a little loop-de-loop -loop that you can go through. Yes, okay. Now, this is one of the reasons I wanted to bring the magic powder, because these anti-fairies are little assholes. Um, but you can totally not just kill them with the magic powder, um, but I believe they turn into fairies. I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I got a fairy out of that. Um, so I'm gonna light that light just for a second so I can collect all of the money possible here. So this is a lot of $5 bills, a lot of, lot of quintuple roops um, laying around on the floor in here. And we've got another key. Huh, okay, there was another anti-fairy over here. So let's get our magic powder out. Bam! Yeah, see? Turns into fairies. I love that. Ah, oh, the magic powder is so, so useful for that very reason. All right, I don't need to light that. Let's go back upstairs. We're gonna be back in the room we started in, uh, albeit like 250 rupees richer. Um, here we go, okay. Another treasure chest. Is it a key? No, it's five more roops. Um, and we're just gonna do this to get through here. 
and we're back in this spot. This is great. All right, uh, let's hold the magic hammer. You can actually use the magic... Oh, that kills in one shot. Holy shit. That is awesome. Okay, we're gonna kill all these guys uh, by charging into them with our S word. Um, it might take some time, but we'll get there. Bam. The red guy in particular. Haha, -ha, we made it. There we go. Okay. Now, we want to go to the right, I am pretty sure. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Because, yeah, that's the the same entrance to that room. We've been down there before. That's great. And I remember this quite vividly. That there's a switch right there that we need to put this statue on top of. Oh, boy, it's all coming back, man. Everything is coming back. I love this game. And I'm remembering why every moment I love this game. Okay, let's go up here. Ah, uh, more of these chumps. All right. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. Gonna get you. And you a second time. All right. Oh, man, that was clean. That was a clean room clear. I like that. Okay. We have over here... We'll hit this. I should have waited until it was bouncing back to hit it, but that's okay. And now... Here we go. Kablam. All right. Link's having a terrible seizure as this ball is moving. Um, everything is going absolutely crazy. He... he the world is... Is just vibrating um, intensely around him as he stays perfectly still. I'm pretty sure that that's what having a seizure feels like. Um, okay, let's go down the stairs. I'm probably totally wrong about that. I've never had a seizure. All right, we can now whap these guys who are adorable little cartoon things. I love that. Bam, okay, plow, and bamo, and oh, come on, turtle. I'm hit killing you with a hammer. How do you like that? All right. I want that. I want that five dollars. Yay. Okay. Now we can um, use the boomerang to get through here. Pick up whatever is here. Uh, bombs. That's some foreshadowing action, which is really nice for the boss of this place. Um, no, turtle. No. Kablam. Okay. So yeah, the hammer one shots them once you flip them over, which is nice. Um, the hammer is actually a really powerful weapon, in fact. Um, okay, bam. Uh, got me. Pow. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. I think it's probably time to use my sword. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That would have been much safer. I was trying to be cool, but I really blew it instead. That sucks. All right. In here, let's go ahead and get some light in here. Um... Which one of these pushes? Is it you? Is it you? No? You? Excellent. All right, through we go. And we need the hammer again because there are turtles here. Bam. 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 Now that, my friends, is efficiency. And it looks like we're at the boss. So I'm going to break my bombs out because I know what this guy is all about. And we're going to blast this chump's mask off. Oh, we missed. We missed. Boom. All right. I guess if we just wait a little longer before we throw it, that'll help. Um, okay. All right. Not that long, though, Link. Boom. Okay. I can't believe it hasn't broken yet. Bam. There we go. And now we're going to break out our bow and arrow. We're going to get all up on and just fill his face up with arrows. We've done it. Okay, we were uh, pretty close to needing to use a fairy on that, but that is all right. We're in real good shape because we're about to get our 10th heart. Oh man, that would, oh, I thought it would fill us all the way up. Maybe the crystal will. Okay, so we've rescued everybody. Our first princess, other than Zelda. These aren't princesses though. They're just like, members of the bloodline of the wise men, I guess. And um, and they're going to tell us some long-ass stories. Some long-ass stories. Shmer, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be known as... It used to be the Golden Land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished that the world was transformed, I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He's trying to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers. 
But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I'll tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Long ass pause. Uh, do you understand? Yes, please. Please don't tell me again. May the way of the hero lead to the trackers. Thank you. Thank you, young lady. <clears throat> Holy crap, that was fast. Um, we, uh, finished up that dungeon right quick in one very, very quick go. I love it. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's move along. Um, we want to go... I'm going to kill this guy because I want to. Um, <laughs> yeah, give me that bomb. I needs it. Uh, we need to get back out of here. How do we get out of here easily? Is there, like, a quick exit to this area? Or do we have to go all the fucking way back through? Do we really have to go all the way back through the maze to get out of here? That's, uh, that's a punch right in the dick, I'll tell you what. Just a big old dick punch. All right. Off we go then. So we need to go here and here, back here, through this thing where Kiki the monkey found us, back up to here and through and down, all the way down uh, to here, and then blah, all the way across in front of Sahasrila's temple, down through here, past this bad guy. We've done it. Oh, the bird got us. Shit, dude. Did he just do... He's doing three hearts of damage to us. That is too much. That is too much damage. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> so the plant monsters also do... They might even do four hearts of damage. They're really, really powerful. They're very strong monsters. Um, until you get uh, some of the better armor for Link. Uh, but we are not at that point yet. So let's go this way. And we couldn't get through this way before because we didn't have the magic hammer. But now we do, and uh, we're gonna bash our way through here and go ahead and get something um, that is gonna make this playthrough go much more smoothly. I'm very excited to get this. This is probably like the best item in the game as far as like time saving goes. So let's go ahead and grab this. Now it may not save me personally that much time um, because I am, you know, prone to blowing it. Uh, while playing games. So, but let's go up here into this grove. We never came here in the light world, I don't think, because there was no point. But there's this little, like, anteater man here, and uh, after wandering into this world, I turned into this shape. Uh, I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There was a small grove where many animals gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try to find it for me? Yeah, dude, I'll find it. Then I'll lend you my shovel. Good luck! So he gives me a shovel, really great. You can dig in many places, you'll never know what you'll find. Um, I love the shovel, the shovel's a great item. Like, when I was a kid, I almost certainly um, shoveled up every piece of diggable dirt in this place. Um, so he said he buried it with some flower seeds. Come on, there, yeah, here it is, we got it. It's the flute! Its music surely has some mysterious powers. And now this kid can go away. He summons all the animals and then lets them go. And now we're gonna... The flute is not, of course, what is going to make this, uh, this playthrough go more quickly, but it is kind of part of it. So if, if you've never seen a playthrough of this, um, there's a cool thing coming up next. I'm sure that most of you have seen a playthrough of this. And, um, and know exactly what I'm about to do. I'm headed to Kakariko Village right over this way um, so that I can play the flute somewhere and get a cool little bonus out of it. I love that. Okay, gotcha. Come on, Link. Get it together. We're going to, to get something super important. Here we go. Got him. And we'll ignore that guy. Just go straight into town. And now we need to go to... No, not into that house, of course. Now we need to go to the town center right here. And we need to play the flute for this here... Um, woodcock? Windcock? I think they call it. Um, this bird. Uh, uh, this cock. This massive cock in the middle of town. 
we're gonna play it like a flute. Um, okay, and we've got this bird now who has this huge bill or beak. It looks like a bill to me, some sort of aquatic bird perhaps. And if we now play the flute again, the bird comes in and carries us away. I love that. Um, and he can take us to any of these eight spots. So good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop back over to our house. There we go. Super fast, everybody. Super fast. And now we're going to go back to the grove, go back to the dark world, and we're going to get something else as well. Um, I honestly... Yikes. I don't remember if the bird works in the dark world. I don't think that it does. I think the bird is a light world only thing. Um, but you can go to the light world anytime you want. And there are teleporters all over the place in the dark world. Or in the light world to get to the dark world. So, and now he's turned into a tree. Poor guy. Poor guy. He just never could get it together, everybody. He never could do it. We're going to stand in the middle of these bushes because we know in the light world there's a plateau here. So if we use the uh, magic mirror, it'll let us get into this cave, which will give us another piece of heart. I love it. All right. So, like, I remember a lot of these little secret places. Um, okay, so does the bird word work here? Um... It does! Fantastic! Alright, so we can go to any of these places again. And I forgot something in Kakariko Village, so I'm gonna go do that real quick as well. Um, but I need to be able to get to the... Wait. Did I come back to the light world before I did that? I need to be in the dark... No, I don't need to be in the dark world. I need to be in the light world. Excellent. Okay. Look at me chase that bird down. That was awesome. I'm so fast. Um, this guy is beating my ass, and now we're gonna go back over here with our trusty hammer to the, um, the blacksmith's house, because now we can knock this thing into the ground. How do you like that? And jump into the well. And down here, what is down here? Ah, down here is one of the, like, magic basin things. I'm pretty sure I throw magic powder on it. Yeah, it's the bat. Batty, batty, bat. Hey, blast you for waking me from my deep dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Uh, is, is that okay with you, sir? He's gonna give me a zap, and I love this. This is so good. So he zapped me. <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See ya. Um, so it says one half up there, which... And, and the way he talks, it seems like, oh shit, I've only got half the magic I, did, I, I had before. But that's not actually true. It's not half the magic. It's magic things now cost half as much. So it's basically like doubling your magic. Really, really, really good. That's a great thing. I'm super glad I came back here. Okay. Um, also, now that we have like been legit to the dark world, um, not just like on Death Mountain, I believe that there are some changes to this world that um, are gonna help us out. If we go up here, uh, take this, and ouch, and that. Haha, -ha, double hearts, love it. Um, and we don't want to go into the f dark forest. We want to go this way and up. We want to find those carpenters that we had found before. Um, come on, birds. Alright, there we go. Uh, we, we, we're gonna get to these... Uh, come on, leave me alone. To the carpenters. Here we go, and the tree that they were sawing is now done. And if you'll notice, it looks a little, you know, not as healthy as the other trees. So if we whap it, look at that. Now we can drop down through this big hole here. And what are we gonna find in here? Probably a piece of heart. Uh, we do have a fairy fountain, that's nice. Let's go ahead and catch one for a bottle. And eat another, thank you, delicious fairies, very nice, nom 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 nom. And through here, indeed, to a piece of heart, very good. We're halfway to another entire heart piece, that is freaking awesome.
Okay. And the carpenters have been dealt with. What is next? I suppose we should go back to the Dark World. Um, because that is... Ooh, actually... Actually, no. I have a better idea. We're going to end this episode on uh, another very positive note. Um, let's go ahead and get the flute out. There we go. And we're going to go to the top of Death Mountain, and we're going to get an awesome thing. It's going to be especially awesome, what with our uh, one-half um, use magic abilities. Here we go. We don't want to go in there. We just want to make our way to the top of the mountain, please. Out of the way, everything. Thank you. And up, up, up. Here we go. We've got, uh, what are these guys called? Tektites? Is that what they're called? Something like that. Tektites, I believe. Die, chump Tektite. Come on. Come on now. There we go, there we go. No! Okay. Bam! Alright, let's just go through to the Dark World. Um, because we want to make our way uh, up here once again, which we can do. Schwam quite easily. To the top of Turtle Rock, and up here, and uh, it's up a little further, this away, right past the tower where we got the pen our last pendant, and we actually came here before, but now we've got the Master Sword. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of ether. There we go. And that's going to come in handy um, much, 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 much later in the game. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Watch your magic meter. The medallions are very, very expensive to use uh, from a magic standpoint, but having the half-off magic um, will help us out with that by quite a bit. Now, there's one other thing I want to do. I want to hop down onto this. Very nice. I haven't been through this one yet. Where is this going to lead us? We couldn't get here before. We can go upstairs now. Okay, so we're like in Death Mountain now, and look at this. It's a heart piece. Yes. Okay, that's three out of four. Shmer, it's his eyes, Sahasrala. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain, not Turtle Rock. Spectacle Rock, of course. Of course, I've been saying it wrong. Um, let's go ahead and switch to our boomerang, our old standby, and, uh, ooh, actually there are fairies over there, aren't there? I can get maximum health. Here we go. Yeah, gimme. Nom 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 nom, delicious fairies. Um, just like chocolate Easter bunnies, uh, you gotta eat the head first. Alright, die. There we go. And all the way down to the bottom. Oh, he came in from the side, he flanked me! That bastard. Okay. That one too! Son of a bitch! Alright, I was hoping to collect some hearts from these guys, um, but no. I, and I have to finish this one just for for, for my own purposes. I, I, I feel better about myself. And I have used up all of the health that that fairy gave me. That's super, super good. Okay. Now, we don't need to be on top of Death Mountain anymore. We're gonna use the flute. Come on, bird. Thank you. Okay. And uh, where do we want to head? We want to head to a portal back to the Dark World, probably. Um, I think that there's one over here? Yes? Have I been over here at all? Let's pop into this cave. See what's in here. Um, sounds like fairies. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'll leave you, that one fairy, alive to mourn the loss of all of her friends. Um, they'll be back, Fairy, don't worry, they always come back. And we are gonna hammer our way through here, into the Dark World. We're gonna check this cave here as well, yeah, there's always caves in the same spots. Hop back in, and what are we gonna get in here? Uh, this bird man. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. How about it? Sure! <laughs> Thank you. They say there's a tiny circle of rocks in the lake at the source of the river. I don't know what'll happen, but it might be fun to throw something into it. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Well, everybody, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We got a whole lot of stuff done today. That is super good. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. You know, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I will see you next time. I can't wait to play more A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.